Okay, um, I'd like to welcome back up Jonas Chernick and Abby Pettigreen. Yeah. And I'm going to have uh, Jeremy Lalon, the writer director. I'm calling him. He's, <laughs> he's going to answer. Oh, are you there, Jer? Okay, we're doing the QA. Everyone's staring at us. It's weird. <laughs> okay. Say hi. I want to hear if they can hear you. Wait, wait. No, wait. Try again. Try, try again. Try again. Okay, this is a failure. <laughs> I'll just hold you here and you can listen. <laughs> Had you seen the film with an audience? I've seen, uh, not with an audience like this. No, yeah. I watched it with, uh, like, uh, we watched it with, like, we had a cast and crew screening in Toronto. Um, so it was everybody that worked on the movie. Okay, so totally different. Yeah, totally different. Okay, sorry, I could Don't hear, be distracted I could hear by Jeremy, this. now I'm totally distracted. Here, I'm going to put him down here. Um, we have time for a few questions from the audience. I was going to see you with Abby, though. At what stage you got involved with the project? Um, so, um, uh, I helped distribute um, Sex After Kids, which is Jeremy's previous movie that played here. And um, Jeremy said that he had this project that he was going to hopefully do next with his producers, uh, Chris Bennett and uh, Jordan Walker. And I really liked it. And, um, you know, fi funding movies in Canada is really hard. So, you know, I convinced them that we should try to make it for a small amount of money. And it gave us a better chance of getting greenlit by telephone and everything else. So uh, we applied to Telephone, got the money, and then um, Jeremy launched uh, an amazing Indiegogo campaign. Um, and when we hit the $100,000 mark um, you know, on crowdfunding, Jeremy and Ryan, the other exec producer, Jordan and Chris and I went streaking this, uh, <laughs> at, on a street of Toronto at midnight. And I have to say that my wife wasn't very happy when I told her, Sorry, but I have to go out because I'm going to go drop my pants um, on Cherry Street in Toronto at midnight. Uh, but we did that, and then we put that up, video up the next day, and eventually we raised uh, about $136,000 on Indiegogo. Wow. That's amazing. Uh, do we have any questions from the audience? No. <laughs> the film was not awkward to shoot at all. The, the ensemble cast, we were so excited to be doing this movie and we laughed, I, we laughed our asses off for five weeks or however long we shot for, four or five weeks. And the more awkward the scene was, the more we enjoyed doing it. Everybody was so <laughs> game. And it got to the point over the course of the shoot where I was bugging everyone, because I've done a bunch of sex comedies, so I've shown my ass on screen a lot. But I, I, I started egging on the rest of the group. Like, guys, when we do the run, we do the naked run at the end, let's actually go naked. And they were like, you're crazy. The guys were like, no, I'm going to wear a thing. And the girls were like, I'm going to wear a thing. But by that time we got <laughs> to the end, everybody was so comfortable with each other. We were having so much fun you just did it. that we all did a, shot, a couple shots of tequila and <laughs> dropped our robes. And they said, action. And everybody was like, I'm actually naked. Oh, so and we all ran through the streets. <laughs> and were you involved in the project right from the beginning, or did you I was audition not. for it? Jeremy and I met because Jeremy, as he said, Jeremy's first, uh, last film was Sex After Kids, and I wrote and starred in a film called My Awkward Sexual Adventure. And we were on the circuit at the same time on the festival circuit. And Jeremy and I met at the Santa Barbara Film Festival, and I was like, "Oh, you're the other Canadian sex guy," <laughs> and he was like, "Oh, that's you." And we just became fast buddies and decided that. <laughs> that we were going to do this new movement of like Canadian sex comedies. Um, and then he passed me the script and was like, I'd love you to read it and give me your thoughts on it. And I read it and I thought, script's great. I have no, uh, no ideas to make it better because it's hilarious. But I really think you should make Chester 10 years older because he was much younger in the original script. I said, you should make him 10 years older because it would be cool because that would explain why she, because she's kind of she's hip and funky and he's kind of a nerd. It would make sense why she has a crush on him if he's older. And then you should cast me. <laughs> and it worked. And you knew, you knew which role you wanted right from the get-go? Oh, yeah. I read yeah. it and I immediately was, that's my part. Yeah. Well, who else am I going to play? Of course, play? totally. You see my work. Oh, yeah. What am I going to do? <laughs> I'm not going to be Spencer. It was perfect. <laughs> uh, anyone else at the back? Or she's just pointing. OK. Sir, please stop pointing. You're confusing. So you're, you're, <laughs> distracting us. Yeah, go ahead. 
Oh, Jeremy, are you there? The, the question is what, how, what, yeah, go for it. Oh, the question for you is how did you make the actors audition in the room? Like, what did you do in the room to the actors? Terrible things. <laughs> that played like the young the young Jewel and the young Ennis and uh, and so you know we didn't you know she didn't run naked on the audition mm. but we had but but young Ennis actually took her shirt off in the last of the audition which was lovely it showed a, a level of dedication that we were looking for that that's a great answer thanks Jeremy yeah. <laughs> huh. uh, I, I should add though because it's actually uh, it's a testament to, to Jeremy and his script that like all the actors in this, I don't know if you recognize the actors, and these are all, like almost all these actors are television, huge television stars that are on shows like Orphan Black and Firefly and The Killing and, uh, and Republic of Doyle and, and uh, I can go on, everyone. And, and they, we all did the movie for like, for nothing. We all did it because we, want, cause we read the script and thought this is hilarious and we want to do this. And and the the fact that he went out to all those actors and got them all is kind of crazy. Yeah, go ahead. Yes, you, sir. Oh, uh, there's a call for a sequel. Jeremy, do you have a response <laughs> to that? I don't want to work with any of those people ever again. <laughs> I'm I'm standing right here. <laughs> oh, sh can you can, can you pull your ears? <laughs> Too late. Uh, may, I don't know. It's. Uh, I mean, I, I would work with that cast again in a heartbeat. It was such a delight, and I mean, the the the, the fun. That, I mean, I'm assuming you guys had a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Yay! Uh, thank you for doing that, whether you did or not. Um, <laughs> it was as fun as you. The movie is. It was that much fun making it. It was. It was such a joy working with these this group of idiots. <laughs> Again, I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> we have time for another one if anyone's got something you want to throw. You can ask naughty, dirty questions. It's totally fine. Is, I, I mean, I'd be, ca oh, you were going to ask a question? I just want to know, did you have to close the street off? Uh, do you remember that? Do we have to close the street off for the last I shot? I don't think. But Jeremy, do we have to, cl did we close the street off for the naked run? Uh, what we did was we shot it near the very end of the schedule so that way if we got kicked out of town it wouldn't have mattered <laughs> um, but what we did is no we didn't really close it off so much we just waited until very late they ran down a street and then had to turn a corner and we had two vans waiting <laughs> for them but there was an old folks home right beside it and there was one old lady staring out the window who I'm sure ended up in a mental asylum the next day for telling them what she saw <laughs> Yeah, that part's true. Now, in terms of the script, was it completely scripted, or did you get a chance to sort of um, ad lib or improvise, or how did you guys work on some of that? Did you hear the question, Jer? I did. Go ahead. Yeah, um, it's very. I mean, Jonas can speak to this as well, but I, I really, really encourage collaboration and uh, and improvisation and that kind of stuff. And so I like to try to schedule a, a lot of time on the day so that we can add stuff and play with stuff. I firmly believe the script can only get so far, especially with the comedy, and that a lot of stuff is just going to naturally come up on the day, and you'll be inspired by a costume or a gesture or, or a location, and things just come up. It, uh, to Jeremy's credit, again, the script was so funny word for word that we did shoot everything that was in the script, and he's such a great collaborator that he did let let these actors, all of us, kind of riff. Some of the funniest uh, uh, lines in there are, are actors ad-libbing. Um, uh, wasn't the line about will there be uh, Japanese girls? Was it that was? Japanese, Chinese girls in yeah. Libya. Yeah. And also, uh, Ennis is. Um, you know how comfortable how uh, comfortable you have to be to lie naked like this on someone's couch. It's like he. Libya. It's like he lives there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and my concentration camp joke <laughs> was was also improvised. The other Q &A. It didn't do well. The other Q no. And so <laughs> I apologize if I offended you. Yeah, but you edited the movie and you chose to. You edited the movie and you put it in there. It was my idea. 
Well, because we couldn't loop something different because what are you going to match your lip saying Auschwitz? <laughs> oh, shit. Ass, ass pits. Ass pits. What? <laughs> ass tits? <laughs> Any more questions? <laughs> oh, there's a gentleman. <laughs> Was there any debate about, Jeremy, about how you cast the mayor? Because he was the only character in the film that was uh, not white. Uh, controversial question. I'll let you know how I feel that. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what you mean. Do you mean, was there any debate over uh, his ethnicity? Or I'm not sure what you yeah, mean. Exactly. Like, they yeah, exactly. Yeah. Was he, was, what's the conscious decision that took like, I think if here. anyone in the crowd is from a small town, I think you know there's always like one family in that town that is not white, and that's generally it. And so that was kind of the idea behind that, was having one person. I just thought it was funny if it would be the mayor, because everyone in that town was trying to be progressive by, by voting for him, but no one else ran against him. There's a joke that got cut out where he uh, talks about that he ran unopposed. Yeah. That's really racist. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> Uh, is there a last question? Otherwise, we could. Oh, take, I have, I have okay. one final comment. You can say whatever you like. Well, I have two things to say. First of all, if you guys like the movie, I, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna. Plug it's it. for Jeremy. You should. It, I think he's. Per, this movie could be really close to winning the audience award, which would be an enormous like thing for the movie and for Jeremy <laughs> and for. So, if if you liked it, please do vote. I also want to pitch my. I have another movie at the festival. Jeremy insisted that I do this. By yeah. the way, <laughs> I swear. Yeah, yeah, he did. Um, I have another movie at the festival. It's there's less penis in it, but it's very touching. It's called Borealis. It plays tomorrow night at 9:15 right here, and then 12 uh, 12:30 p.m. here on Sunday. Oh, hold on, but I'm gonna plug. Uh, wait, wait a second. I'm not done my plug yet. And and I wrote that one, and I and I, I uh, I'm in it, and we have some a couple movie stars in it, and it's really a lovely movie. Please come and check it out. And it is a very good movie. You must see it. It's fantastic. You haven't seen it. And, well, I know because it's you. Yeah, seen it. um, and I have a movie to plug, a movie that I produce called Prisoner X, which plays tomorrow morning at 11.15 at the Cineplex Theater. Um, it's our second showing, so plug it. And again, vote for this movie because... Yeah. It, it could think, really win. It, it could, could win. You guys could push it over the top. You guys could make it win. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you again. And also reminders... The audience encore on Sunday, so spread the word about that as well. Thanks again, you guys. Thanks, everybody. Thank you.